Now at 530 on Eyewitness News, investigators say a man wanted for murdering his wife may be using dating apps to elude law enforcement. He's good at doing all of that. He are very good. Anybody he can use, he would use them. A nationwide manhunt is underway for Donald Hodges. U.S. Marshals say he's been using dating app matches to hide from police. It's a reminder to be careful who you swipe on. General Lines Dave Faraday has followed every development in this case since it broke in 2022 and joins us now live. And Dave, you spoke with victims, the victim's mother, about her fight for justice. I did get a chance to talk with her earlier today, Hannah, and I also got some information from federal marshals who are telling me that they believe that the suspect is using a dating app to meet both men and women and then actually moving in with them. All this unfolding as they continue to search in several different states on charges of first degree murder. Diane Bender showed us photos of Tanikia Hodges when Tanikia didn't show up for work in 2022. Bender went to her daughter's home in Conover and found her dead. She says almost immediately she suspected Tanikia's husband, Donald Hodges, was involved. I woke up this morning and had a dream about him, that he was out there enjoying life. And after what he done did to my baby. U.S. Marshals are offering a $10,000 reward for Hodges' arrest. They believe in the hours after the deadly shooting, he drove Tanikia's car to Charlotte. Police there say they got a call about a disturbance at a motel involving Hodges, but at that point, no one knew about the murder in Conover. So Hodges, who was taken to the hospital, walked out without being treated. Marshall say Hodges, who has a lengthy criminal history, has strong ties to eastern North Carolina, Pennsylvania, Georgia, and New York. Diane Bender says she recently gave police this photo of a tattoo on Hodges' chest. Marshalls believe he is using dating apps to meet both men and women then stay with them until he wears out his welcome. So, Lord, we need to stop him. We need to stop him because if he keep staying out there, he's going to keep doing what he's doing, and he's going to use anybody he can use. And Diane Bender told me earlier today she has an additional $5,000 in reward money. I also got a chance to talk with the police chief here in Conover. He tells me that this case remains a top priority for his department. They are hoping to make an arrest to bring closure for the family. Reporting live from Conover, I'm Dave Faraday, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. All right, Dave, thank you. And let's have one more look at Donald Hodge's photo right here. If you take a look at your screen, remember, police say he's armed and dangerous. If you have information on his whereabouts, call the U.S. Marshals Service tip line. It's on your screen right there. It's 1-877-926-8332.